Welcome back guys. Today we'll be doing differentiation of logarithmic function. So here we have y equal ln cube root 1 minus 8x. And we're going to use the laws of logarithms to simplify, rewrite it in a different form. Because we have a cube root, we're going to apply the rule that states that when we have a power, we can always carry the power in front. So in this case, our power is n. So we can carry the n in front of the log. So we have n log base a p. So having this, we can rewrite it in a form where is y equal cube root is the same thing as the power one third. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite this as one minus eight x to the power a third. No, we can apply the rule that says when we have a power, we can carry the power in front of the log. So it means what I'll have here is one third ln one minus 8x. Now, differentiating this, we're going to use the logarithm rule that says we differentiate fx to get f prime of x all over fx. So, using that information, we're going to differentiate ln 1 minus 8x. Our fx is 1 minus 8x, so it means we have to differentiate all of this. So we have y is prime, which represents a derivative. Rewrite the 1 third, then the ln function, it becomes a fraction. So 1 minus 8x will be in the denominator, then we differentiate it. So 1 would be 0, and minus 8x would become negative 8. Now this is the derivative, but we can go further by multiplying one third. So we have one times negative eight, that's minus eight. Then three times one, that's three in the denominator. Then three times minus eight x, that's minus 24 x. And all of this represents the derivative. Now, the next example that we have here, we're going to apply the rule that says when we divide, we subtract. So here I have log p base a minus log q base a is equal to log base a p over q. So clearly we're going to apply this rule where the division can be expressed as subtraction so having this, we're going to have y is equal to ln, then x cubed minus ln 2x plus 1. Now differentiating this, we have to first get the 3 in front of the, the ln. So applying the first rule that I had introduced in the previous example. So once we have the power in front, we can then differentiate the ln functions. Now, differentiating this, ln x, the derivative of ln x is always 1 over x. But when we have a function within ln that's other than x, then we apply the rule that says the derivative of ln fx is f prime over fx. And remember log and, and ln, natural log and common log, they're coming from the same family, so it's the same rules that apply. So if I have ln or log, it's the same concept that we are applying here. Now, for this, ln x, we differentiate, so I write the 3, then differentiate ln x to get 1 over x. While for ln 2x plus 1, differentiate 2x plus 1, I have 2 all over 2x plus 1. The final step is just to multiply the 
3 times 1 in the numerator, so 3 times 1, that's 3 over x minus 2 over 2x plus 1. And that's it. For the next example that we have here, we're going to apply the rule that says when we add, we multiply. So here we have a product. So we can rewrite it as summation. And also we have a power up that we can carry in front applying rule number one. So applying the rule where we can rewrite it as a sum. So I have ln x cube plus 2 all raised to the power 3 plus ln, which is the natural log, square root of 2x plus 1. Now the square root is the same thing as the power of half, so I'm just going to rewrite it right away that this is the same as 2x plus 1 raised to the power a half. Now the rest I'm going to rewrite as is. Now this is where I'm going to apply rule number one where when you have a power so the powers I have is a three and the half. We can now carry the power in front. So carrying these powers in front, what I'll have here is three ln x cubed plus two then the next part carrying the half in front of the natural log. So I have a half ln 2x plus 1. Now we can go ahead now and differentiate using the log formula for a differential of this. fx is x cubed plus 2. So I'll differentiate x cubed plus 2 to arrive at 3x squared and the 2 will be 0. So it's just 3x squared all over the original, which is x cubed plus 2. Plus a half. Then differentiate the inside. We are at 2 and over the original, which is 2x plus 1. Now we could simplify this further because I can multiply 3 times 3x squared. That gives us 9x squared all over x cubed plus 2 plus the half and the 2. We can simplify this 2 into 2 can go into itself so that gives you 1. So we have 1 over 2x plus 1. And that's it. Now this next example we have two things that are happening. We have multiplication in the numerator and division happening also. So it means we're going to apply the rule that says when we divide, we subtract, and when we multiply, we add. So since in the numerator, I have two things that are being multiplied, it means we can rewrite this as an addition. Well, what is in the denominator means there is division, so it means I'm going to have a subtraction. So this is what we're going to do. For the numerator, we rewrite it as an addition because it's a product. So it becomes ln x minus 9 cubed plus ln 2x plus 3 all square. And for the denominator, because it's division, we have minus ln x square. Now we have powers, so we're going to carry the powers in front. So we have 3 ln x minus 9. plus 2 ln 2x plus 3 minus 2 ln x 
Now, after carrying everything in front, we can now apply the rules where we know the derivative of the ln functions. So, applying what we did in the previous example, we have the 3, then differentiate the x minus 9. So, x becomes 1, 9 is 0. So, this is just 1 in the numerator all over f of x, which is x minus 9. Now, the same concept will apply here. I have my 2, then differentiate f of x. So 2x becomes 2, 3, 0, all over the original function, which is 2x plus 3. Then we have minus 2, and the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Now, it's just to simplify 3 times 1. So we arrive at 3 in the numerator. So it's 3 over x minus 9 plus 2 times 2, that's 4. So that's 4 over 2x plus 3 minus 2 over x. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.